<laughs> I think we did enough of that last month. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Reading Room Book Club. Thanks for joining us. If you're joining us live, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're watching on the replay, then thank you so much for joining us. Let me turn off the other tab I have there. I'm just hearing my own voice echo back into my head. Oh, that happened on Sunday night. And I was like, I can't know. No, no, <laughs> that's not okay. Well, I always like to pop out the chat. So like in case we get spam bots in there, I can deal yeah, with it. Yeah, I always know. mute it because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are talking this month about Monopolov by Mia Heitzelman, the lovely Mia Heitzelman. Uh, I love her books. I've loved every book I've read by her. Um, what did What did you all think? First book by her? Yeah, this was my first one. Awesome, awesome. It was fun. It made me want oh, to yeah. play Monopoly. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about her sequel, be or the next one coming out, because Trivial Your Pursuit was my game as a kid. So, oh, was okay. okay. Yeah, that was my yeah. game as a kid. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to her next one. Well, you don't have to wait that long because it's June. I know, it comes out, which right? makes me very happy. <laughs> And I'll be on vacation the week it comes out, so that's perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Ryan, what did you? What did you <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. I'm about 40% of the way through. I. You haven't finished it? It's not that long. I already have complaints. I already have complaints. <laughs> like, I'm already just like, Ugh. So, yeah. It's, uh. You can just say you're not romantic at all, and you, you, you know you just can't. What's up with like the hate of the romance genre, though? Honestly, just... <laughs> don't care. I mean, <laughs> if you want to get into it, like I've got, I've got plenty of feelings and stuff. Like I said, I'll, I'll wait for Charles to get here so that he can just you know gawk at me and. <laughs> yeah. But like, um, yeah, I, I've got some opinions. I'm just like. Eh. I mean, Fair despite enough. my hatred of the genre, I mean, eh, what I've seen so far, it's okay. It's, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I don't know exactly how to feel about it other than that. All so, right, well, that's okay. Uh, Mia, Mia said that we can just call you Wheelbarrow Wald for, uh, for the duration of this, of this show. <laughs> 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 which that brings up a good thing what like funnily enough i i don't have a piece but i think i picked the wheelbarrow more often than <laughs> which, which you know oh, all right, i'll gosh. be the antagonist i guess uh, how about you alicia do you have a favorite piece i have what's my, um when i had a i had a uh scotty dog so i used to always have the scott scotty dog <laughs> all right all right yeah <laughs> and then if it wasn't that it was the top hat which was kind of funny because it was both of theirs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> i was like really <laughs> mia was channeling something there <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i would have had to go with the uh the race car race car excellent <laughs> my mom would always take the shoe i never got the shoe because my mom always got it <laughs> <laughs> What a, okay, and there was an iron and a ship. Was there oh, what else, else was there? Was there? I don't know. Sure. With all the new ones, like all the different iterations of it, it's kind of hard yeah. to get that. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the craziest versions of Monopoly you have? I have Scoop I have the Scooby Doo Monopoly. Nice. Right yeah. on. Right <laughs> the on. retro like cartoon Monopoly. Oh, like it's a it's a retro version of Scooby Doo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are the uh, like how are Scooby snacks mixed into that? I have to. There, uh, it's one uh, one of the pieces that you can move around the board is Scooby snacks. Okay. And it's th and it's like three Scooby snacks in like a cluster thing, I guess <laughs> you would call it. <laughs> All right. I so. But I, I grew up like... playing board games, so this was like my jam for that reason. Nice. <laughs> How often could you? How often did you finish a game of Monopoly? Or... Oh God, without cheating? <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe well, once or twice. I mean, is is cheating just part of Monopoly? I yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. Hey, man, that's the best part of being the banker. (laughs) Whoops, slipped myself an extra 50 here. Well, you know, but you could also dupe the banker sometimes, too. When you are consolidating your bills, you're like, here, can you give me a 500? And they only hand him four. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. This is true. (laughs) Yep. All right. Well, so in this book, we have uh, we have Harper and Declan. Harper owns a business. Ryan, you love this. And <laughs> it's, it's a board game shop, which we love board game shops, but they're having trouble. And Declan is in town to handle his late grandfather's um, house. So dealing with that so that they can he can sell it and he's not sure his friend is trying to convince him to stay in town. And well, yeah, at the beginning of the book, we don't know. We don't yeah. know if he's going to stay in town or not, but you know, the feeling he's going to find good reason to stay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you guys think of the, the, the meat cute, the, the coffee shop mix up part? Would you, would either of you get so upset about someone buying you a coffee? No. I would be yeah. so happy if someone else bought me a cup of coffee. <laughs> if you like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was part of her like whole character thing that she had going on. But I would uh, offer to pay them back, though. But would you? Would you? At what lengths would you go to to pay them back? <laughs> not the not not as many as she did. I would offer she, twice. Definitely... I would offer twice, and then. I'd be like, okay, I'll just buy you a cup of coffee or whatever. All right. <laughs> I, I feel like the beginning, the way it opened up, I just, I need more backstory. Like, why is she so defiant? Like, we we know that, you know, she has something against taking money from her dad for some reason. Uh, does, does it ever explain it later on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because it's mm-hmm. like, I'm like, okay, so you have yeah. some chip on your shoulder, but you're not going to explain what that chip is that is causing you to this encounter with this guy. What, I mean, this isn't a 50,000 word Harlequin. We can't just, you know, we, we need to have I know. some exposition over time in the book. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we don't just get everything my, thrown at us in the first chapter. My problem is that, like, the only other real, real romance novel was that book that you gave me to read months ago, Aaron, uh, The Mommy Milkers. <laughs> that was just dirty smut. That was just dirty <laughs> smut. Oh, are you talking but you know um... what? You know what? I still like the beginning of that better. Are you it talking was... about the um, milking farm? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I don't even... yeah. yeah. So, like, I still like the beginning of that better than this. <laughs> all right, all right. Ryan, Ryan needs the steam. Well, but I mean, so you just... lean more smut. Okay, I, 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 I need that. <laughs> build up like i just felt like this is anyone anywhere go to like, america if you people want build up special? mariana zapata oh yeah she's not for me personally but if you want build up and backstory mm-hmm. she's the she's the author you go to but it's still going to be contemporary too right she doesn't yeah. do she does contemporary so like I don't I like that nothing just... happens till ninety percent. That's what irks me. I'm like, no, your pa- your books are five hundred pages. They're not just kissing at ninety percent. No, <laughs> like <laughs> right. it pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I actually like Tuli's lengths um, of their books. Like they're not too quick. They're not too long. I think they strike a really good uh, really good balance. Very yeah. Very readable amount, definitely. I think this is technically my first Thule book, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's it's one of those um, publishers that it's like, maybe, maybe I've read more of them. Like, I just don't I realize, know what yeah. titles are theirs and what titles are just Harlequins because they kind of right. get mixed. They kind of get mixed in together. So I don't know what's, what, mm-hmm. what is what. Well, they're not so <laughs> in your face about like... Um, about having like the publisher. Harlequin. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slammed across, yeah. Yeah. So let's see, what else have we got going on in this one? I really um, like the titles of the chap the chapters. Oh yeah, that was yeah. like one of my favorite parts. I was like, I'm so down for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just pieces of the the. Game. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> go directly to jail. <laughs> yeah. Don't pass go. <laughs> Take a ride on the reading. 
<laughs> Why are you shaking your head? It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> what is your aversion to cute? I don't understand this. Like, I don't know. It's just <laughs> stupid. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, Walt. All right. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, to me, once again, I, I guess I'm more smutty. I'm like, wow, that sounds really dirty. But I don't think any reading on the, or riot on the reading happens in that chapter. All right. Well, <laughs> you should, you should check out some of Mia's self-published stuff. That, oh, okay. She's okay. got some se- steamy stuff. And even the, like, stuff that's I want still, some more like, smut. contemporary. Yeah. Like uh, the uh, Terms and Conditions series. There's only one book out. There. That's her? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that uh, was the her. The Friendship Contract? Yeah. yeah. Did, have you read that one? No, but I didn't. <laughs> I saw it the other day. My my friend sent it to me through Kindle. Oh, nice. I didn't yeah. know that was her. <laughs> that one's got some like, like it's, it's not even like sex scenes, but like, I don't know. They just like the scenes get hot anyway. You know, just the like. Hey, the buildup is like sometimes that. even better than the sex scene. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, I was. I think I was expecting a little more heat from this than than we got, but yeah. it is it is a toolie, and that's I know that's not exactly what they're. It's not exactly what they're. Are doing they for. more like, if we were to equate it to like, a Harlequin? Are they more like a special edition? Kind of mm-hmm. with the, the yeah, amount of themes, yeah, so to speak. That's probably okay. where I'd where I'd put it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was stuck between heart, heartwarming and special edition. Because special edition can get steamy sometimes, depending on the author. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, like Stacy Agdern, <laughs> some of her like Hanukkah books, there there isn't they're closed door. Okay. That's the term I'm looking for there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right, let's let's talk about um, house rules. What are, how do you guys handle free parking? <laughs> do you actually put the fines and everything in the middle of the board? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way I've always played it. Yeah, that's I, the way I was always taught. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's officially in the rules though. I think that's just like a house rule that like everybody follows. That, that, that just <laughs> yeah, across the globe before the rules caught up. Uh, I've definitely played some games where the fines just went right back into the bank and that was definitely yeah. not uh, definitely not as interesting. Hmm. <laughs> so I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you got to have like those cash injections in there to, to you know, kind of make it fun. Rock the boat. Right, you know, right? right exactly. <laughs> you know, when something's going sideways, you know. You know, it's one of those things where I've never really looked into the luck of you know, monopoly and where the strategy lies. Like, yeah, there's strategy, but there's only so much strategy. Right, right. Yeah, like, you know, um, oh, here's, our, go ahead. here's our fourth guest. Charles, welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome aboard. What were your, uh, well, first, what's your monopoly game piece? Ooh, I'm the top hat. The top, everyone loves the top hat. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to play Monopoly with me because I'm the I get I'm compa- the type of play, I'm the type of I player get- that will will just like if I'm losing, I will make it so that everyone else loses. I'll make the worst <laughs> trades and stack the deck so like one person like gets the what's the blue the blue one the blue properties and just uh, help the utilities like, houses. Yeah, yeah. You don't want you don't want, like. If I'm not winning, I'm like, might as well sabotage everyone. <laughs> Throw the whole house down. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know. I, I was in a game one time where someone convinced someone, it, it might have been they convinced me, to to not buy Boardwalk. Because they're like, how often do you <laughs> land on it? Like, <laughs> Oh, that person was wow. evil. <laughs> <laughs> Like, who cares if it goes to someone else? Like, you never land on Boardwalk. <laughs> no. Boardwalk was always the first one that I bought. That was always the first one that I would go for. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. So skipping skipping the utilities. I'd never heard of this, but that kind of makes sense because I don't think they pay out that much and people don't land on them that often. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I'm thoughts. curious to see what the like world strategy is as far as you know how people get into this. 
um, you know, back in high school and stuff, we played a lot of risk and that was much more strategic. Yep. Like no matter mm-hmm. what, it was much mm-hmm. more how you played the game yep. and yeah. was, you know, win or lose, you know, it was all down to you with this. There's just, there's so much luck involved mm-hmm. on where you land. So to me, it's like, Oh man, that would be, that would be rough. Or like I said, even in like the beginning of the book, I wanted more build up. I wanted more like, why do we hate Walt? Like, yeah, but like they don't really explain how he won the last tournament. Like in the first or in the first time that her and Declan play together, I'm just like, yeah, Walt lost, but we don't like have some epic like, ha ha, we got Walt. Mm-hmm. It was well, I mean, like, okay. Harper wasn't in the tournament last time, right? Or well, I don't think see. so. Right. Yeah. The, the year that he won. Right. Harper wasn't in the tournament. So. Right. Right. Just... But it was like everyone was satisfied gloating to beat him. It was like, why? Like, did he have some devious scheme that, you know, other than the fact that. <laughs> he kind of just cool, seemed like he's a sniveling the champion brat. Of, <laughs> yeah. He's the yeah. champion of, you know, Walt the wheelbarrow. <laughs> I don't know. He he didn't seem like someone I would want to get drinks with. That's that's for no. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not that he was like. Well, he like has a, to be a reminded. Bad, he has to guy. shower. Yeah. <laughs> or the ex-boyfriend because he was weird. That, like, that was that was. It was weird. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It, You're gonna you know, come I, to my house? No. No. <laughs> I like no. that it wasn't no. like the, the typical you? just you know, um, scheming ex-boyfriend, you know, that, that sneaks in there at, uh, you know, at the three quarters, uh, three quarters breakup, you know, yeah. it's like, Hey, yeah. what's, what's going on? Yeah, it was weird. But we needed, we needed some element there of drama. So yeah. That, uh, I was expecting it was going to be the ex-girlfriend. The other his ex-girlfriend mm. or fiance or whatever she Bellamy. was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's going to show up out of nowhere. Yep. Yeah. Because that always happens. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time, though. No. <laughs> I did like that, though. She subver- subverted some, like, typical tropes. Like, the beats were still there, but it wasn't like, okay, it's coming. Okay, like, it was a little bit subverted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and i i like that uh declan's mom wasn't oh like and like he that was my like, favorite part I need, I need to go be with my mom she like she slipped and fell and like she didn't hurt herself much but like i need to i need to be there she was just like what is yeah. wrong with you <laughs> i know the feeling though cool. <laughs> doesn't have a mom that takes him away from the love interest like that other book we read what? Which what one was that? This time last year. Oh, the, the, the or this time next year. What's, where he, he always was taking Minnie care Cooper. of the sick yeah. <laughs> with the what? sick mother. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that whole <laughs> The mother See, was even like, you forgot about oh, it. I'm like, I won't remember this next month. And last month I completely had forgotten about it. I was like, what was that book we read? <laughs> Welcome to the world of romance novels where we consume them yes. at in an exponential rate. Welcome to the world of just reading a lot of books in general because I'm just yeah. like, okay, I read that six months ago, but do I remember it? No. No. <laughs> and then when you start reading, you're like, oh, yeah, and then this happens and this happens and this happens. Right. And this happens. Like, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charles, any any big thoughts on the book since you got here okay. a little late? I'm going to confess, I did DNF it oh, at no. 25%. It was just because <laughs> I'm not the worst I was yes. reading a dark romance, <laughs> and then it just hit me in the right way. And I was like, I'm sorry, Mia. Like, I, I like you, but I was like, I need my dark and twisted and, and crazy. Which one? Oh, it's... It's kind of bad. It's Deviant by Natasha Rose. Madison? Nat- Natasha Madison. Okay. Yeah, if you're if you're not, it's it's basically it's dark, but it's very steamy. Is it darker than the one you the one where he was slicing people? 
No, this was not that bad. This was not okay. that bad. The one that you sent me where he was like filleting people, and I was like, no, I'm good. No, because like I was doing like I was reading another book that was similar to Monopoly, like kind of like more like like on a light side. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I'm really craving darkness, so I just kind of put it off to the side, and I was like, oh wait, we're meeting today. I had twenty five. <laughs> I have like twenty chapters left. This is not going to happen in a day. <laughs> Well, I will probably go back too. and finish it <laughs> later on. Now that I, I, I'm not even out of my dark romance. Like now, it's like I just bought like how many books from Audible? Don't even ask me. Oh God, that's not. I just like there. pulled up. All of, <laughs> I just pulled up Audible and said, "Give me all the books that are exactly similar to this book." Wow! Just one click, just, one buy. You just, you just went for <laughs> it. Just one click. Just one click. It's all right. One click. It depends on the author for me when it comes to dark stuff. But it was so good, Alicia. It was so good. <laughs> You're gonna have to send me that name then, because just I will if you just read the blurb how it starts. Okay. I was like, okay, I, I, like if you're just not for it, you're just not gonna like it. Okay. Well, Mia's got one dark romance um, series. It's uh, it's called Dev. Well, it's called the series is called Wasteland Academy, but the first one's devastated. It's it's pretty it's pretty good i'm not a dark romance fan but like and like the 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 age category the age of the of the characters is like a little like okay that's not that bad i read like dark high school romances like it's fine yeah the dark romance like like, it could be like a 40 year age gap like see i can't do if they're like 17 and that's just no well, there's no age gap. Authors love to right. do like they're 17, yeah. 18. You never quite know when their birthday is. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and they fall in love with their dad's best friend who's like 40 something, and you're just like, please stop. That's just like catnip. Just like throw a dark romance. I'm like, give me. <laughs> if you reverse, if you reverse the dynamic, and like the female is a more aggressive one. And the I like, like that. No, I don't. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm for that. I'm just, I'm kind of over the, like, dad's best friend's trope. I tell you, TikTok is my worst enemy with Dude, dark romance. Because they just, like, they say all my in real words. life. They're, like, they're out there. Broke. I, I have a <laughs> they're, distant they're relative that, like, she, he was her paper boy. And she seduced him. Mm. I was like, ew. That's gross. Uh, I mean, sorry. Been married for thirty years, I guess it worked out. <laughs> oh, that's kind of frightening. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> that's kind of scary. But I mean, the uh, the most uh, infamous one, like uh, Mary J. Laterna, wasn't that wasn't that her name? Yeah, Mary oh, K. Yeah, yeah. Laterna, oh, yeah. Mary K. Laterna, the teacher. Right. Yeah, the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. She was up. In Although you know, I'm yeah. I'm kind of shocked she hasn't traded in that guy yet. He's getting kind of he's getting kind of up there. He divorced yeah, right? her. <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> he divorced her. <laughs> she she got out of jail and he divorced her. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Oh my. You go goodness. through all That's that. So and... petty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Oh my gosh. Oh. Have you read finished reading that Nikita book, Alicia? No, I that's I'm going on vacation in like two weeks, so that's on my because I'm bringing my Kindle. That's all I'm bringing with me is my Kindle. So. I read that book in a day. It <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think I've been so far away from it that I ha- like I need to just start over and read it again because I wasn't. I feel like it. I want I want Ryan to read this book. I want to see. I, I would, see how you. I'm see. curious. I want to see how you fare. I'm curious now. What is this? Are we picking our book for next month? Is that what's going on? Here? <laughs> I don't know if we could talk about it on on YouTube. I don't from think you what happens in it. YouTube and not get flagged. Like, <laughs> yeah, shadow banned or something. Although I don't, I don't know, even have 500 Charles... subscribers. They're, they're not listening. They're not watching. <laughs> if you choose a poppy war or like the third book in that trilogy i will read that because i i need oh dude seriously i devour the poppy war devoured it that was the only one i liked i think it took me three days like wow yeah i like if it gets darker and worse like i'm all for it you got past chapter 21 perfectly fine Okay, if you if you couldn't get past 21. book one, yeah. you're not gonna be able to survive book two and three. Yeah. I book three bored me to tears. <gasps> I liked book, book two. Book three bored me to tears. 
I was really? bored. Mm-hmm. Because like she, I feel like she did like a weird thing with the character, and the character ended up doing things she wouldn't do. I was like, I think, yeah, yeah I just kind of hated the after what she did in book. The one, ending was awful. Sorry, I hated her. <laughs> I was like, now it's just like these last two books. Were, okay, when when is she gonna die? When is she gonna die? I'm she waiting. Was awful. Oh, dude, I am. Oh, dude, she's like, I don't care about the world anymore. I just want it to burn. The first one was oh, really, yes. really good. The first one was really good. Yeah. But afterwards, I was like, yeah. Like, those getting, two like, books, I was like, I never had a book that put me in a like a de- like a depressive mood. Like yeah, for like books. a month, I didn't like, read anything after that. Yeah. It's so heavy, and the books yeah. just get heavier and heavier and heavier. I was like, ah. Mm-mm. I mean, it's like true dark fantasy. Nice. I just need some romance, and I can get through it easily. Just some little. <laughs> yeah. What's that goddess? Uh, that that the the. Oh, what the heck is she? I forgot the but the her phoenix. Ren- the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. The Phoenix. For Randy to happen, her and that like yeah. weird teacher should have been a thing for a little bit before you know what happened to him, but all you have to do is sprinkle with romance and it makes it so I much just easier didn't, to I read. didn't even like Babel. <laughs> I gave Babel oh, two stars. Babel's I heard it's too long. I won't rant on like Aaron's channel, but if you want to rant, I'll I can give you a rant. That mm-mm. 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 watch me read it and give it five out of five stars and like you probably <laughs> you probably will like it more than I did. From knowing it, your your reading taste, you'll probably like it more than I did. Right book for the right reader. Yeah, and yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, and I was buddy reading it, and the person I was buddy reading with, <laughs> with wouldn't let me DNF it. He was like, "You're gonna suffer too. I'm suffering." You're su-. I'm like, I, <laughs> "Roger, I hate you right now." <laughs> I don't think I read for like a month and a half after that book. It was awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like you want that. my copy? I'll give it to you. I don't want that book in my house. I don't DNF. I simply just put books on pause. Or mm-hmm. indefinite amounts of time. But do you really put it on pause them. or do you get rid of it after a certain amount of time? Well, because by the time I already bought the audiobook, and it's usually like a month or two before I like actually get to listen to it, and then I don't want to return it because Audible will ban me from returning. <laughs> 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 Audible is not a library, Charles. <laughs> Wait, I only like, did it Audible, twice. Like, if you just like return like two or three titles in a month, uh, okay, no, no, you're cut off. Like that's it. You're done. You're done. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like sometimes if I'm not feeling paid. a book, I don't want to keep it. I don't want to have to own it. Then I'm like, I still own you, but I never want to read you. <laughs> you there are a couple that, in my see that Audible reminder library. every time you go through your library. Like, oh, that one. Oh. I was like, oh, remember when I bought that whole series thinking I was gonna like it, and I read book one. And I was like, eh. I stopped doing that <laughs> a long time ago because. I was guilty of that hardcore. I stopped doing audible sales. I don't, I just like don't do them. I just like, well, just like wait and just buy the book when I want it instead of just going, oh, look at all these four ninety nine. I do it if it's a series that I'm titles. continuing to read. Yeah. Let me buy 30 of them because they all no. sound somewhat interesting and never read them. I'm scared to go through my audible library. I literally don't know what's in there. I have over like 5,000 titles in my Audible library. It's oh, wow. insane. Oh my gosh. It's insane. But I mainly, I, I mainly, um, I was an auditory learner in school as well. So that's mainly how I get through everything. Uh, yeah. Audible is like my last resort for an audio yeah. book. Like, well, now that to, I have Scribd, yeah. Yeah, I'll go to Scribd. I'll go to the <laughs> library 17 app, titles so in my Audible. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, we need to fix this. Yeah, <laughs> we need to get you on some sales. No. We need to get you KU, get those usually, 199 Audible deals. I usually That's what kills them. me, is the the 199 They get yeah. you on those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, $2. I don't know, online. man. I, I'm, yeah. I'm so picky when it comes to, like, who I read. Like, it has to be good, and it was. It was that kind of thing where it's like, okay, I can pick up, you know, uh, like the poppy war i 
I had no notion of it other than, you know, it's loosely based on yeah. historical uh, yeah. war fought between China and Japan. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, all right, I'll pick this up. And just, and yeah, it was something where I instantly was like, oh, wow, like, I really enjoyed a lot of aspects of it. Oh, my gosh. Um, and just devoured it. Like I said, I'm... The only reason I haven't read the second book is because I'm probably going to end up on Audible because my library is projecting six weeks out for the second book from them. Dragon Republic, I think, is the best one, personally. <gasps> really? I like Dragon Republic out of all three of them the best. Like, does, like, That's the, the sequel. The books two and three, like, I just can't read them. Like, I read book two and it put me like in a depressed mood That's for about what, like a month. That was me with the first one. The first one, I was like, oh, this is fun. Like, she's going to school. She's an underdog. And then she's going to kill everybody. And then that scene at the end, I was like, oh, I hate this main character. How can I read a trilogy when I absolutely hate the main character? (laughs) She's amazing. Oh, my God. She is. She's. She's just like. She gets uh, worse. Like, she just, like, becomes, like, a shell of a person by book three. (laughs) It's so sad. Oh, we, we know it's... why we know why Ryan hates uh, romance now. He's a sadist. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a romance for that. <laughs> yes, there is. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a a a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's one of those things it's like for me. Of... I'm one of those people that I'm like, you know, as a species, we need to go to outer space. We need to go to other planets. And then, but on the yeah. other hand, I'm like, but do we deserve to? No, 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 no. We do not deserve no, we're to. We're killing, we're we killing this one. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's not like we're going to stop killing each other once we get to another planet. Like, no. We'll find yeah, it's basically going to gonna turn into. It's going to turn into dawn. It's going to turn into the. Octavia Butler was right again. Yeah, Xenogenesis. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yeah. I remember reading the one book. Oh, I forget which one it was, but it literally said "Make America Great Again," and I was like, "Please stop." Like, and oh. this that that was published in like 1979. I was like, "Oh my, no!" Mm. Oh, well, why did I get the idea of like Octavia Butler and Ruby Dixon co-writing a book together? Well, that couldn't happen because she because. Octavia Butler. Is I mean, like in the like, yeah. just like a spiritual, like if some author combined <laughs> those two things, like, you know, they have I'm tentacles. Here I'm here for they it. They have it's tentacles. Like, like, I did not on. like the first one of Ruby Dixon, though. I tr- I was like, yeah, that first chapter was a little bit much for me for Ruby Dixon. But how did you not just like become obsessed with the whole like tribe and found family? And, I want to like, read the second one. I think I'll like the second one better. The second one's great. Like Liz is I did not probably like my favorite one. character on that whole planet. Yeah. 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 There's like um a new one that I I I think I just bought the audiobook and I didn't know why I bought it, but it looked good. <laughs> <laughs> it was one ninety nine. So you know. Okay, this one was seven ninety nine, but like still it was a good investment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was Ava Ross something. It's an interracial alien romance. It's a it's a black <laughs> author. Interesting. <laughs> Is it Which I, Regine, I is it Regine Abel? But... No, it's um Ava. I think that's her name, Ava Ross. Okay. I'll I was like, wait, I usually don't see like people of color writing sci-fi mm-hmm. paranormal that is an interesting romances. Thing. I look, doesn't bring a look new up perspective. Regine Abel. Yeah. Oh, that's Re- okay. Regine Abel is a uh, BIPOC author. Writing Ryan, paranormal. don't get me canceled on book two, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just, I've never thought of like, I, I feel like if you're going to that realm of interspecies erotica. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. You know what? You can call it love stories. Like, it's just like a little bit exaggerated, you know? <laughs> Love like, stories like, meets darkness. Like, imagine if you have very freshly full, <laughs> like it's that that vibe. Like uh, it can't exist in real life. You can't have a, like a little bear as a human. Like that would just be that would just be way too much. Freshly oh, full. I need. Oh man, I haven't finished. Immortal. I Death have the first dark. one. I need to get one. to. 
See that oh, one's no. rough too. That that one's the first one rough rough. So good. I know. I'm so <laughs> I'm scared because everybody told me that I'm scared. <laughs> but Nicole yeah. wants me to read it so bad that she sent it to me. She's like, read it, and I'm like, I don't know. You told me that this one isn't that good. <laughs> well, you can if you don't want to read that one. You can jump around. You can do um the I forgot that they're they're two brothers. Their books are like right back to back. The demon, that happened. the demon brothers. Is it Kiss of the Demon King? Kiss of the something? Demon King was uh, um, Ride's Drum, right? And right, the, yeah. There are a ton was in it, that series. Wasn't two that were brothers that were yeah. right back? Yeah, and then I think it's that the one, one before one. that. Kadion? Was that? Kadion? I know one had Sabine. Yeah, like, so the, Sabine was Kiss of the Demon King. Kiss of the Demon King. Which is my favorite in the series oh, so that's far. So good. Is that it's the one is that one. the one where the, the kidnapping trope is like that uh Yeah. Is yeah. Reverse. Okay. Him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> this went totally off the rails, but <laughs> it's, it's, you can read that one and then like jump. You don't have to read them in order. Okay. Except the last I would say the last three books. Have like you read you the newest me, one? If you want to read Monroe? Monroe, you have to read the other two brothers' books okay. for that one to make sense. And then the last two books give the setup for the world. Like I don't even know how to describe it. The world building is very loose in that series. Mm-hmm. All right. Like there's an access- ascension where everyone's gonna fight, and people are just kind of like choosing their own factions. And Nyx is going to be the last book. That's yeah, I'm trying to get know. into paranormal, more paranormal than I have. Paranormal, I love so me good. some paranormal. It's so, it's so great. I just, <laughs> I, I just miss about it. I like, I like werewolves. I can't give me a werewolf romance, and I'm happy. I, I like my vampires. Not my, yeah. not can, Twilight. I can, not I can Twilight. do. A, I, can do a not, I was going to say not anything but skin. Twilight is fine. They don't sparkle. <laughs> Did you hear they're going to reboot Twilight? Why? They're already going to reboot Harry Potter, which I was like, that's ridiculous. What? Yeah, Yeah, HBO HBO Max is rebooting Harry Potter. It's going to be a season milking shit for all it's worth. Yeah, a season per book. That that horse is... (laughs) The bones are ground and the flesh is rotted away. (laughs) I just wonder how 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 they're going to do it with, like, all the hate against right? J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, it'd be a different thing if she backed down, but, like, she really hasn't. She's double. You know. she du- she's she doubled down. down on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, at this point, she has F.U. money. She doesn't care. She doesn't need to sell another book. Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. Everyone thought no, they would do, she, like, a she... cursed child with, like, the original cast, but, like, I think the original cast wants nothing to do my friend was mm-hmm. in that if on JK's Broadway. JK's involved. What? My friend was in that on Broadway when it was a Broadway show. Cool. That's cool. Random, All right, I well. know. <laughs> All right, well, but I'm Aaron, just gonna... when is this coming yeah. on audio? Because I want this on audio. I don't know. Thule books don't often get audio adaptations, I don't think so. Oh, that's uh, a bummer. This I would know, be a good it one. Is, it is a bummer. So, I mean, you could get, like, Siri to read it to you. I haven't quite That's figured what I that did. out, but yeah. <laughs> but um, final thoughts on Monopoly Love. I gave it, it five stars fun. because I had a good time, and I just I love anything Mia writes. I gave it four and a half. I gave it a DNF. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Ryan hasn't finished, or, or Wheelbarrow Walt hasn't finished yet. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ryan, you didn't finish either. No, oh, no, I'm that. only like forty percent of the way through. Okay, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I wasn't the worst this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap us up. So thank you if you are joining us live. Thank you if you're watching on the replay. Check the description box and you can find all the places you can find my co-hosts and where you can find Mia Heitzelman online. And we will see you in another video, folks. Have a good night. <laughs>